So let's continue knitting the sizzle top. You should already have worked through movies one, two, and three. One being the overview and yarn discussion. Most of us are using this number three yarn. In video two, we created the tuck lace trim that will become the hem. And in video three, we hung that trim on the needles in place of a cast on so that now we can continue knitting upwards. If you are following along in the written pattern, which is available on Ravelry, and there is a link in the program notes, we are now here in the middle of page six. We now need to knit one plain row to attach the hem so that we can keep on knitting. You will need some claw weights or bar weights across the work to keep that trim down and out of the way so it will knit off smoothly. Begin with the carriage on the right, set to the main stitch size for the garment, and knit right to left. Be sure to set the carriage so that we'll knit the needles back from hold. They're probably forward from where we hung the hem on, and knit from right to left. Now we'll do some short rowing to create the curve of the hem. On the right side, place five needles into hold, knit across, and place a sixth needle right next to those already held in hold. On the left side, now place five and hold. Knit across and place a sixth needle in hold on the left. Now repeat, right side, five needles go into hold. Knit across, a sixth needle goes into hold. In the written pattern, this short rowing sequence is described under the heading the short rowing sequence to make the curved hem. Keep on adding stitches to hold in this manner for a total of eight rows to complete the short rowing in part of the sequence. We began on the left, so it's stitches into hold on the right, knit across, one more into hold on the right, goes without saying, stitches into hold on the left, knit across, that was row two, and then do that over and over until it's been done eight times. You will end up on the left. If you were watching me very closely, you will have seen that the very first time I accidentally put six stitches into hold and then brought a seventh forward. And I did it on both sides so it's even. If you should make a mistake like that, I wouldn't bother to go back and undo it. The difference of one stitch won't ruin everything. Here I counted up and had to go back and watch and see what I had done. So here I am finishing up the short rowing in portion of the sequence. And if you get this right, you will end up with 24 stitches in hold or needles in hold on each side of the work by the time short rowing in is completed. Now begin short rowing out by on the side away from the carriage, returning six needles to upper working position. You cannot do this with the side levers because if you knitted some back automatically, you would knit all of the stitches back automatically. Continue returning six needles to work on the side of the work away from the carriage before knitting each row. Now on the left, six go back into work knit across, and keep on repeating that until all of the needles are back in work. You will end up on the left when you finish. Here goes the final batch of needles back into work, knit to the left, and then set the row counter to zero. We are now here in the written pattern, and most of this that follows is straight knitting. We'll knit 30 straight rows, then use a two-prong tool to work a full fashion decrease on each side of the knitting. We're going to knit 30 rows, then decrease three times. This is where we can change the length very easily. Just suppose you're tall. You would like the blouse three inches longer. Our row gauge is 7.33 per inch, so you decide to round up to eight because we cannot knit a third of a row. And that will mean adding eight rows to each of the formerly 30 row sections. So yours will be 38. Making the original length 
the third decrease occurs after knitting row 90. If you change the length of the garment, the third decrease will be at a different point. That's okay, you don't even have to think about that, but you do have to think about this. Knitting the original length, we begin the underarm after row 101 has been knitted. You will need to make a note to add or subtract from the number 101 so as to be able to begin the underarm ribbing at the correct point. So that's it for today. We'll knit to the point where we need to begin the underarm, working our decreases, and get back together in a couple of days to finish the knitting.